सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम इज माय वॉइस क्लियरली ऑडिबल सो वी कैन स्टार्ट ओके या नमस्ते गीता दीदी मैं गुड इवनिंग टू यू जी भैया नमस्ते नमस्ते सुनील भैया नमस्ते शर्मिला दीदी सभी को नमस्ते दीदी आई विल ब्रीफली इंट्रोड्यूस यू एंड देन यू कैन वेरिंग वेट ऑन द टिकटस Dr. Diri is known to all of us. He is an assistant professor in the Department of Computer Science, Government Arts and Science College, Abhinashi, Tamil Nadu. He has an introductory English period between November 2020 and has been volunteering uh, many activities after that. He is a moderator for many of the weekly meetings, monthly meetings, and she has been acting as an uh, as a co-facilitator. in one of the face to face fdp also he has been very actively participating in the morning sessions with a lot of questions so with this brief introduction let me welcome a gida didi for her sharing in the morning session didi over to you thank you ji bhaiya thank you so much sunil bhaiya has introduced me so then about my husband He is Mr. S. Sambat Kumar. He is running a typewriting institute, Xerox, and he does computer job work. Our son Monish is working in an IT company. As it was stated by Sunil Bhaiya, I got associated with UHV from November 2020 during the pandemic period. Thereafter, completed UHV refresher part one and part two subsequently. attending the uhv morning sessions from jan to 2021 almost regularly may be missing less than 10 sessions only so this shows how i am much drawn this shows how much i am drawn towards uhv next share the ship in your understanding so in your understanding of my of the proposers of my understanding of the proposers first human being particularly the self previously i was thinking human being equal to body no idea about self so i thought the brain is doing everything like thinking instructing recalling from memory executing the ta- executing the tasks and the mind is a part of the brain as i am a motivation speaker i used to say that everything is in our mindset if we change our mindset everything will be fine everything will be okay like that and that was my understanding but after you achieve i'm having a clear picture that it is the self that is thinking imagining dreaming assuming and self has feelings also the self has a memory to register recall and it reflects as sanskars and these sanskars drives the feelings which dictates the human being so now i have to work on myself particularly towards my feelings and sanskars for for my own development and societal development this is a big shift in me also i had assumed that death is the end of all after death nothing but now i mean but now the proposal for death is it's only the dissociation this association of self from the body next my understanding towards nature while cutting vegetables and fruits if i saw some worms in it previously i was irritated 
and will throw away the vegetable or fruit with so much aversion. Sometimes I used to get vomiting sensation also. But now I appreciate it. My first observation is the presence of worms indicates that that fruit or vegetable is decaying. Now also I throw away but not with that irritation and aversion. My second observation with respect to this is how could these insects enter into the mango and make it sweeter? It is said that mangoes with insects are very sweeter. Next observation. Sometimes when I observe nature while traveling in bus, train, I forget myself totally and could feel the calm, peace, harmony inside me. Connecting to nature and experiencing the glimpses of pure observer or divinity or space. I don't know what actually that is, but a fulfilling experience. Totally forgetting myself and to be one with nature. My next observation. When someone says, trees offers fruits to all, it does not differentiate or discriminate between beggar, sinner, priest, etc. I used to argue that trees offers fruits to all because they don't have any choice. That was my interpretation. But now, if I see that each and every plant are serving the human being in one way or other, for example, some are herbal, medicinal, nurturing the body, healing the injuries, protecting the body from diseases, in Ayurveda and Siddha, our doctors can detail it. So, when I observe closely, its natural characteristics, innateness and coexistence. It is true that the nature, the existence is designed in such a way to exhibit its relationship, harmony and coexistence to other units. And all I need to do is to see this reality, which is my right understanding. Next existence. When I explore the sequence of the four orders, first physical order came into existence, followed by bio order, animal order and human order. Also with respect to quantity, it is in increasing order. So the very design of existence is to participate in larger order to fulfill the other orders. Yes, it is a revealing experience to me that existence is coexistence. On the other hand, if human order came into existence first, came into existence first, what will I eat? Where will I get food? How I will build my shelter? Where I will get my clothes? What or who will punch my thirst? Hunger? If I raise such questions and explore, yes, I can clearly see its natural characteristics, innateness and coexistence. Also, another interesting observation about existence is the nature and the existence is offering abundant to me. They don't boast themselves. Silently, they fulfill the other orders and exist in coexistence. But I, doing something a little bit and feeling high of myself, making so much noise, 
and expecting so many appreciations and recognitions. So, if I can rightly evaluate my behavior with the expression of other orders, slowly I am sure my ego will diminish. Next, my, share, my sharing regarding the shift in my understanding of my human conduct. One of my predominant sanskar is my ego. Recently, after a function, my name was not highlighted. I got deeply hurt. A strong feeling of opposition towards that person. But I dare not to ask you because my ego did not allow me. Also, I wanted to show off that I am a humble person, a modest person, not after name, fame, etc. It was troubling me a lot the whole night. The very next day morning, the heavy heart, I expressed myself to Ganesh ji and felt very light after hearing his proposals. Previously, I had made up my mind to go and ask the next day that person indirectly like, so now you are happy and satisfied. So like that I was thinking to ask him back. But after discussing with Ganesh ji, that idea dropped. Instead, I saw him fresh with no past attached to it as he is similar to me. Truly, it was a great moment for me. I can give many examples. My contact has improved a lot. One more example I would like to add. Previously at workplace, I always expect others to wish me first and then I will reciprocate. When they don't wish, an instant feeling of opposition towards them, ranging from few minutes to a whole day depending on the individual. But now, I am the first to wish others with so much happiness. Coming to the third one, share your understanding emerging out of XS1 and 2. XS1. To be aware all the time is very challenging to me. But now I am trying to keep reminders, sometimes remembering and thinking about that I have to be aware all the time. When I am aware, I check step 2 and 3 consecutively. If I am in harmony, I don't think about step 4. But if I am unhappy, my first thought will be, it is the other person or the situation. But now, after UHV, I am taking some time to conclude it is because of my own feeling. Here also, few times, particularly towards my spouse, I am not able to accept the fact that I am responsible for my feelings because lack of feeling of trust towards him. So I need to work on step 4 more and also I have to work on the feeling of trust. Once I am comfortable with step 4, then steps 5 and 6 falls in place naturally. If I got stuck up with step 4, then 5 and 6, 7 don't happen at all. That is true. So for me in exercise 1, if I am able to observe steps 1 and 4, then remaining seems easy. Next, exercise 2. Now, little bit clarity has improved about the realities self and body. But space, I am not able to get that point. I am just assuming what will be space like that only. Next, when I am aware, I can see the transaction between self and body. So steps 2, 3, 4, etc. Yes, if I am aware, I can see. 
self is instructing, self is reading the sensation and all. Example, when I am in Vajrasana, I don't read the pain when I am observing the self or if I am totally immersed in my thought process. I don't see the body at all. I don't read the sensation of pain. So there I can clearly differentiate that there are two different entities. Then step five, a very important step to me, the meaning I am associating. Here I can see few of my sanskars. The first sanskar is ego. I stated already the second sanskar. It is very difficult for me to break my pattern or my way of doing things. For example, in my kitchen, bottles must be in the order I have arranged. If someone replaces it, I could see the instant irritation in me. Then my third sanskar, after washing the clothes, if my son puts dress to wash, I can see the disturbances at least for a moment. He should have brought it earlier. My fourth sanskar, attachment. The food I prepared should not be wasted. While we are eating together with friends, I am bothered only if my food is wasted, not for others' food. Really, I will get affected if someone wastes my food. Then my next sense card. I can't easily let it go. Many times, after a quarrel with my husband, he comes back to normal. But I can't. I suffer to the end. But after UHV, the frequency, the intensity and the duration of arguments has drastically reduced. So also my sufferings. My sixth example. With one of my scholars in GMEET, she didn't join on time. So I was thinking she should have joined on time. She should have waited for me. Now. I am waiting for her to join. After five minutes also she didn't join. Then a thought came to me that I have to close the meeting. Why should I wait for her? Only the scholars need to wait for the time. So restlessness inside. Checking the time frequently. Checking the WhatsApp. Why she is not joining. And I waited for more than 10 minutes for her to join. When I observed my feelings initially a feeling of opposition with sweating and all. Then I refer to exercise 1, steps 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There I could see my assumption, precondition, that the student must wait for the teacher, not otherwise. Likewise, more observations then and there. Moving on to 4. Share the change in your living with this understanding. Yes. Significant changes after UHC. Previously, I assumed life was a struggle and everyone has to fight and succeed. So, I was also fighting. I was also struggling and I thought I had assumed that it is the way of life. It is the very design of life itself. But now, I can clearly see no need to fight. No need to have unhappiness. Yes, now more and more moments of happiness and peace inside me. Many complaints about my spouse at workplace about the system. Now all the complaints, mean most of the complaints are drastically reduced. I would like to share the significant changes, particularly after UHG 3. Now I connect the proposals with my day-to-day -day living experiences, few of my observations. Now I understand that the reason for complaints is I am not seeing the other human being at the level of self. Instead, I am seeing or focusing only the expression, their behavior. If I see that the other is similar to me with respect to purpose, program and potential and we both lack right understanding or our competency differs, I think then there will be no complaints. Second, as I see the differences 
based on host, age, senior, junior, student, scholar, nature of work. It leads to my wrong evaluation, leading to my unhappiness. On the other hand, if I can rightly evaluate based on self and competency, then I am sure respect is ensured within me as well as for the other person. My third observation. For quite some time, I was struggling with the proposal of trust. I just can't accept that how the other person intends to make me happy because I was seeing this proposal through my spouse, through few others for whom I was always having a feeling of opposition. But slowly, trust is unfolding to me. Then the fourth observation, because of my samskars like superiority complex, self-centric and ego, I had estranged relationships, which is the prime reason for my sufferings and unhappiness. To conclude, I am 53 years old. My parents, teachers, friends, sisters have advised, have advised me a lot, but it did not work because I was not receptive. But in UHV, as everything is put as proposals, I started to explore within myself. I am able to see my potential and my possibilities. Slowly, things are changing without much force and energy. Yes, it all happens so naturally to me. This UHV journey, a fulfilling experience for me. Then coming to the last segment, commitment. Yes, as Sunil Bhaiya was stating, I am volunteering myself in Saturday and Sunday weekly meetings. I am also a part in UHV Tamil translation team. I am handling sessions in student workshop. Also acted as a co-facilitator in one face-to-face -face workshop. But I need to volunteer more. I need to explore more. Because uh, day by day, my I can see it's, I can see the significance of UHV and I also understand that the more I explore, I can get more benefits. So I have to contribute more and I will continue my UHV journey the rest of my life. Thank you all. Thank you for the entire existence. Thank you Sunil Bhaiya. Over to you Bhaiya. Thank you very for this uh, very nice, honest and inspiring sharing to all of us. Yeah, so whenever I uh, work with you, whenever I talk to you, I also have opportunities to learn many things. And this is also, your sharing is also a learning experience for me. Yeah, so now uh, we can take questions from the co-explorers to give us a will be request uh, Shamla Didi to give her comments and remarks regarding uh, Gita Didi's sharing. Shamla Didi, over to you. Ji, namaste Gita Ji. Didi, namaste Didi. It's always a pleasure to hear you. And uh, we've been hearing you throughout, uh, I think, every, every batch that we've done since you started. You have always been very expressive, very vocal about your doubts and uh, misgivings. And I think that forms a very important means of learning for many others. So um, the, the honesty with which you are able to put forward your shortcomings, that uh, is something quite remarkable, which I have always admired. And I think that that is one reason why your um, sharings, your doubts, um, you know, everybody is keen to listen to you because many of the sharings that you put forward, many of the doubts, the shortcomings that you are um, very openly sharing, sincerely, honestly, 
many others would hesitate to share but they may have similar questions so it's very good that i think uh, somebody like you is there who asks all these questions so that the doubts for so many people can get cleared and if i see your journey from the start till now i can see yes there are still occasionally hurdles that <laughs> we talk about now and then but for the most part i can see a lot of shift compared to earlier in the beginning i remember there were so many complaints ji ji spouse regarding so many other people your relatives but now slowly things have started coming down and very often your sharing is more about the shift that you are able to see rather than a complaint about the other large of course like i said you know it's a long journey and there are still several hurdles you need to come get over mm-hmm. like you mentioned i think ego this identification very strongly with my opinion my ideas um my likes dislikes mm-hmm. that identification that strong identification of the ego seeing mm. myself as dissimilar from others that is one thing that you have to try to get over mm. which is the cause for a lot of the disturbance that you may now be seeing mm. but for the most part i can see a huge shift a huge difference from when you started and uh, i am also aware that you are volunteering in so many areas and we occasionally meet in various meetings also with this both the volunteering and the exploration i think it makes a wonderful um combination mm. for you know, for the progress in self development so all the very best to you best wishes from all, all of us ji 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 thank you so much even i can see didi it's a nice combination of volunteering and exploring makes our progress faster and deeper definitely didi i will contribute more thank you so much for all your mentoring didi thanks a lot thank you so thank much thank you i i remember in the beginning you used to share many times that i don't have I am volunteering. <laughs> yes, Didi. <laughs> now you are able to fit in so many more things. It's wonderful to see that. Yes, Didi. Thanks a lot, Didi. Yeah. Thank you, Didi, for that uh, comments and remarks. So, Gita Didi, uh, she is now volunteering, and uh, in in many activities, like she said, the translation part or the moderation part. or uh, taking part in uh, face to face of tbs etc this is an uh, motivate this is a motivation for all of us to uh, continue vol- volunteering and to find time for volunteering as uh, shamla didi pointed out very nice thank you